What is going on guys, so today we're going to be talking about pretty much why I only knife on Call of Duty War 2 and why I only knife in Call of Duty in general. The past six years, I've been pretty much knifing only on Call of Duty, besides every now and then I'll take like a little break and I'll go and shoot on my other account. But for the most part, I've been knifing on Call of Duty for the past like six years, which is honestly crazy to think about. Um, but it originally started in BO1, BO1 was my first ever Call of Duty game. Oh, hold up, yeah, I died. But anyways. Black Ops 1 was my first ever Call of Duty game, my first ever online video game, and I think that came out around seven years ago. Uh, so yeah, it was like the end of the BO1 life cycle, we'll get turned on, but the end of the BO1 life cycle is when I actually started knifing. I ran into a good friend of mine, still to this day, his name is Hershey, and he, what happened was he hit like the craziest bomb spot tomahawk. Like, you know how like you plant a bomb and search and destroy, you throw a tomahawk like straight up in the air to the bomb and kill somebody with that tomahawk? That's pretty much what he did, and that like got me into knifing, per se, in Call of Duty. And still to this day, I knife only in COD, and a lot of you guys know, in Black Ops 3, I hit level 1000 knife only. I actually made this same video for Black Ops 3, but I felt like I, I didn't really make it too good. I could have made it, you know, a lot better in a way. Oh my, fruitcakes. So we're going to be redoing it in Call of Duty World War 2. I might redo it next year. You never know. I might redo it for Kai. You never know. But anyways, um, the story goes like this. But a lot of you guys know there's no knife in this game. So technically it's not like, you know, knife, knife only. But it's shovel and throwing knife only, I think. So, yeah. So it's pretty much knife only. <laughs> that sucks for you, bro. Oh my, there's two people above me? Wait, thank you. Anyways, yeah, after Black Ops 1, I played every single Call of Duty from launch night, knife only. And, you know, it's been very, very fun, because I don't necessarily like using guns. I get bored with guns very, very easily. Occasionally, you know, I will go and shoot on Call of Duty, but it's just for fun when I play with, you know, IRL friends. And I just, you know, mess around and stuff. I don't, you know, whenever I get bored with knife. And I don't technically ever really get bored. What are you doing, dude? But anyways, I don't ever really get bored of knifing like that. I do occasionally, but it's very rare that I actually get bored of it. Um, the whole, you know, exciting thing with knifing only to me is being able to do better than sweaty tryhards can do with regular guns, in my opinion. And just, you know, getting 1v6 clutches in SMT, getting like crazy games in Surge, maybe getting like 1v6 clutches and aces with knives is way, way more satisfying than hitting like nuclears and stuff like that with regular guns. In my personal opinion, that's how I feel. But, you know, some of you guys may be different about that, but I always get that, you know, crazy adrenaline rush when I'm using knives and going like doing crazy stuff. Come on, Spanish fly, can you stop camping like a choke? Yo, imagine. Bing. Never mind, I suck. And I'm like always chasing that high of getting, you know, an insane game, knifing only. And when I use guns, it doesn't really satisfy me when I do good. So I don't know what it is, but like knifing to me is just in a way fulfilling, if you get what I'm saying. You know, obviously I've been able to, you know, grow a, a pretty, pretty big channel from only knifing on Call of Duty. And it's kind of crazy that you guys, you know, support me just for running around and stabbing the, like that noob right there, just stabbing him. And just just watching me it's, it's really it's kind of crazy man i never would have thought this many people would enjoy you know me knifing in 2017. what are you doing this spanish fly kid loves sitting in corners but he's always getting destroyed i'm not gonna lie this year is kind of rough and stale for knifing because i can't really create my own class setup because they took away the pick 10 and you know put divisions in the game so it kind of screws my playstyle in a way because you need to create a class to actually you know have certain perk combinations to do really good knifing only and it kind of sucks in this game that you're you know restricted to certain divisions in a way and you can only really choose maybe two or three things that you actually want and only one perk besides the divisions but i can say over the years i've had I'm probably around 10 times more fun using knives than I have using guns because I've gotten so many crazy things when it comes to knifing on Call of Duty. Just clutches, insane rounds, you know, insane s &D games. Just overall, I feel like knifing has been way, way more filling than using guns. Oh, okay, get destroyed. I didn't think I was going to kill him, but I'll take it, dude. In a few games, after we, you know, play a little bit, I'm going to show you guys my stats so you can see that I only knife on this game. 
and that you know pretty much I've been knifing for six years and it's it's, it's kind of crazy man it's kind of crazy to think I've been knifing this long Call of Duty and, and just you know not bored with it yet you know what I'm saying because I know a lot of you guys are like oh you you only knife on Call of Duty I don't get so bored of that so quick and I was like I just don't get bored with it you know like I'm always chasing that high like you know chasing that ace like you know if you don't know what an ace is, it's getting a, you know, all the enemy players in one round and search and destroy with only using your knife. But, I mean, obviously you can do it with a gun as well, but, you know, it's, it's, I think it's a little bit more special when you do it only with a knife, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, it's just, I'm always chasing the high, and, you know, when I get something crazy, I'm like pumped up, general adrenaline's rushing, and it's just so fulfilling to me. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Hey, we ranked up. That's cool. Yeah, as you can see right there, we're six prestige, level 35, knife and melee only, or shovel and throwing knife only on Call of Duty War 2. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to kill him. Get out of here. We're gonna flank in behind you. Take you off. Dude, I love just running around throwing knives in my hand in this game. Like, I don't even care that I have a shovel. I mean, obviously, I would rather have a combat knife in this game, like every other Call of Duty has, like some sort of, you know, basic knife in the game. But the shovel isn't too bad, you know, to be honest with you. But the throwing knives made this game for me, bro. And, you know, one goal I've always had in every single Call of Duty game was to always have a positive KD knifing. I don't think I've ever, like, my lowest KD on a Call of Duty knifing, I believe, was on either World at War or AW. AW, I had a 1.02, I believe. And I believe in World at War, I had a 1.07 KD. So overall, throughout the years, I pretty much you know, had my goal set, and I've achieved that goal on pretty much every COD. And a lot of you guys know I hit level 1,000, only knifing people. In Call of Duty Black Ops 3, I mean, it, it, that's that's probably my biggest achievement I've ever done knifing, besides getting three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back aces in Search and Destroy on BO2. Oh, he got destroyed. My mom is Jeff. What kind of name is that? Oh, I was not expecting someone to be there. I just panicked through that throwing knife. Wrecked. Spawn, spawn, spawn. No balls, no balls, no balls. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. Oh my god. Come on, dude. He spawned to the right, really. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave this lobby. We're going to go into the headquarters. I'm going to show you guys my stats. And then we're going to open up like a supply drop or two. I think I got one or two right here. And I'm going to show you guys my stats so you can see that I'm actually knife only in this game. And I actually made a video where I showed you guys my knife only stats on every single Call of Duty game. And I'll link that in the description so you guys can see my stats throughout every single COD game. I don't think it has my updated ones with Black Ops 3, but you can go on, you know. A lot of you guys know me from Korean's video, and you already see my stats anyway, so it doesn't really matter. What the hell is this background noise? <laughs> this little kid going crazy. All right, so guys, as you can see, I'm six prestige, level 35 in this game, 15,000 kills, 12,000 deaths, a 1.28 kill death ratio, so a positive KD. I'm stoked about that because, you know, I want that positive KD in every COD. And at one point, you know, basically a 1.3 KD is fairly good, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I have zero headshots, so as you can see, zero headshots, no gunshots fired, four days played, 641 wins and 485 losses. So a positive win loss too. It's not too bad. Let's go to Dossier so you can get a better in-depth look at my stats. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through this really quick. Uh, those are bayonet kills. See zero headshot, zero accuracy. Uh, same with the SCG, zero headshot, zero accuracy. There you go with that. 41 multi kills. That was because I had to use that as a primary when I was using uh, airborne while using the shovel, so I didn't have serrated unlocked at the time. Let's go through these. Everything zero accuracy, zero headshots. Everything zero. Everything zero there. Everything zero with the shotguns and everything zero with the pistols. And then here we go. 7,500 kills with the U.S. shovel. Kind of crazy. I know, guys. I know. And here we go with the frag. Here we go with the N74 zero and zero. And one kill with the mine because I threw my stun. It blew up the mine. And yeah, I've never actually used a mine in this game. And I have eight thousand kills with the throwing knife in this game and a thousand and sixty seven multi kills and as you can see i've never used a lethal streak in this game 
zero or well 861 counter recons and 1174 recons but anyways let's hop into a game mess around some tdm for the rest of this video and just chill oh this is the god lobby oh my god i haven't had a lobby like this in a minute oh it would be us texas they're probably gonna sit back and snipe that's tough i'm actually i don't mind us texas for knifing as long as people are actually running into the building because i can just patrol this building and do fairly well knifing only but you know sometimes you get those queers that love sitting in the back of the map with snipers and to sit there the whole freaking game and it's so irritating i hear you bro oh my oh my i choked there we go Dolphin dive. I'll take it. I choked right there. There was a quad. There was an easy quad. And I choked. And get turned on. <laughs> like, yo, if I get shot in the back, I'm gonna be pretty salty. Stab you. Where'd your homie go? There we go. Picked him off. Alright, teammate, you go out first. I'm gonna cool it in the corner and uh, let the noobs come in for me. Or I could just miss my throwing knife. That's cool as well. We only grind a master prestige knife only. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to you know level 1,000 in this game only knifing because that it just seems like a lot because you rank up so slow in this game. Oh come on! Oh I'm gonna be so heated. Oh Dude, that kid's bad. I don't know how that guy didn't see me go into the corner. I literally slipped into the right side of the corner on the on the right side of the wall, and I don't know how he didn't see me, man. Nope, stop camping, bro. I'm all over the radar. No, nope. get turned on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, baby. Why am I still on the radar, dude? Get out of here. Come here. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Grab you. Grab you. Oh, that would have been filthy. All right, so we're going to pick up that guy with the slight work. Definitely people above me. Here we go. Oh my god, I get destroyed, bro. I feel like I'm gonna die. I'm like all up in their spawn right now. Oh, that was close. Oh, his gun was non existent. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. But his gun was just not there. Get out of the corner, bro. Oh my god, get destroyed. Alright, let's get the last kill. Let's get the last kill. Easy! I'm confused. Oh, let's go. I will say one thing. If you guys play against me, don't run in a straight line. That is like the worst thing you could possibly do. I don't know why I just missed those people so much. Oh, we're getting shot in the back. We could have had a nice little clip right there. We could have at least had a triple, man. And I, ha I still haven't hit a freaking quad on throwing knife. i've hit like you know a quad on but not like non-split if you guys know what i'm saying and my goal on every cause at least hit one you know non-split throwing knife quad or like combat and axe quad or you know tomahawk or whatever it's called in the game the only game i didn't do that was the spike drone on aw i wish they would fix you know the fact that we can't have three throwing knives in this game because they put it in for a little bit and they just like they took it away i was just like man come on why you gotta ruin all my fun? These guys are still sitting over here, bro. Come on, man. Care package on the way. Protect the drop zone. Holy shit! You need to quit. You need to quit, COD, after that, bro. That was that was pretty bad. That was pretty pretty bad. Oh, hey then. Let's go. No grenade, grenade. Uh, okay, we're good. Come on, they gotta spawn back here. They're not back here? Where are they? That's someone. That was definitely someone. <laughs> oh, he's gonna try and nade me. That's not cool, bro. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Nope. Look at these fruit cakes, dude. He's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> What are you doing, bro? Ah, uh, we could have had a quad right there. I choked it up like normal. Oh god, you scared the shit out of me. 
I just choked. I was on a 10 kill streak and I just choked right there. I choked the quad throwing that. Alright, so I think that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. I just wanted to let the people that didn't know why I only knife on Call of Duty and, you know, kind of like redo it in a way and make it better than the one I did before because the one I did before really wasn't that informative in a way. It was just me saying I only knife on Call of Duty and then just played some BO3 SMD. So I hope you guys learned a little bit today about, you know, kind of why I only knife on COD and stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And also let me know in the comment section if you guys have ever knifed on Call of Duty, what game it was and what kind of, you know, inspired you to go knife only. And if you enjoyed it. So anyways, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Running up a check, I gotta get my bands up. Thousand dollar belt, that's just to keep my pants up. We gon' hit them with it till they understand us. All we know is money, we don't understand much. Ah, I've been in the game, I pay my dues.